It's 2015 and we're kicking off our third year of Battle Hat here in Melbourne, Australia. Let's look at how we got here. last year then why wouldn't we compete again and yeah. I think why should someone else take it out if we can come back and go back to back uh, we just actually finished our workshop uh, number two and we've got the third one going on it really encourages sort of natural thinking I guess and possibly ways they haven't considered integrating previously it was really really useful um, at least from what I heard from a lot of teams who were completely unfamiliar with Spring Trade yeah. <laughs> Look at the object, do image recognition on it. Yeah. If it's recyclable, it goes into one uh, bin, and if it's not recyclable, it goes into the other bin. Just before lights came up for dawn, we did a, a demo run riding around the block and which we, this is what we attached to the back of the, the bike to record boomstick and we attached that with gaffer tape to the back of the bike. Only three hours, a bit more than three hours to go. I'm so tired. <laughs> it's really great. I, uh, I wish there was one in, like every week or so. So far Battle Hack has gone really well. This time we're seeing hardware built into shirts, into bins. And if you want to know what the future is going to look like, this is the place to be. The food's amazing, the venue's amazing. Everything is just pretty next level. Deja vu. How many more disbelief than last year? Like the world finals last year were insane. If we win the world finals, <laughs> we won't compete again. Yeah. If we lose, you will never see the end of it. We'll keep on coming. <laughs> Battle hack! Impressed? LA, you're next. 